Samuel Nicholas Slavin Jr. was born on April 1, 1933 in Jamaica, New York. He was an American minimalist artist who was famous for creating sculptural objects and installations from commercially available fluorescent light fixtures. Dan had a fraternal twin, David John Flavin, who was born a few minutes after he was. Flavin's dad, Daniel Nicholas Sr., was a professional baseball player for some time. Flavin Jr.'s mother, Viola Marin Bernzot, was formerly an executive secretary. In 1961, Dan married his first wife, Sonia Severgia. Him and his wife were blessed with a son, Stephen Connor Flavin, on July 7, 1964. Dan and his wife, Sonia, divorced later in 1979. Still considered part of his family, Dan had a golden retriever, Airely, whom he traveled with to dog shows. On June 25, 1992, he married his second wife, Tracy Harris. In 1947, Flavin graduated from St. Joachim and Anne Carroccio School in Queens, New York. Then in 1952, he graduated from the high school department of the Cathedral College of the Immaculate Conception Preparatory Seminary of Brooklyn, New York. Dan studied for the priesthood for the Catholic Church before joining his brother in the United States Air Force in 1954. While deployed, he studied art through the Adult Extension Program of the University of Maryland in Korea. When he returned to New York in 1956, Dan briefly attended the Hans Hoffman School of Fine Arts and studied under Albert Urban. For a short time, he studied at Art History at the New School for Social Research. Then, from 1957 to 59, he moved to Columbia University where he would study painting and drawing. Starting in 1959, Flavin was employed as a mailroom clerk at the Gungheim Museum and later as a garden elevator operator at the Museum of Modern Art. Then from 1960 to 61, he worked as a guard at the American Museum of Natural History. In 1961, Dan's artwork took off with his first solo exhibition at the Judson Gallery in New York. His earlier sketches and paintings suggested his interest in ab abstract expressionism. While working as a guard for the American Museum of Natural History, Flavin began creating sketches that he would later use to incorporate electric lighting. Flavin used the sketches he made and turned them into what he called icons. The icons are made by placing the fluorescent lights close together on monochromatic canvases in such a way that they would contrast each other. Eventually, he removed the canvases and began to make room-sized environments of light. Dan Flavin decided against using traditional materials to make his artwork come to life and chose to use standard high-colored fluorescent lights as a medium instead. Flavin created his artwork with these fluorescent lighting tubes and juxtaposed them in, a, in relationship to architecture, filling many galleries and other environments with light in color from the, flu the fluorescent lights. Although Dan had the choice to use a vast volume of colors, he restricted himself to a limited color palette. He decided to only use lighter colors of pink, blue, yellow, green, red, ultraviolet, and four different whites. Some of Flavin's work was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright's design as displayed in the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum where the fluorescent lights take advantage of the spaces his art occupied. One of Dan Flavin's influences was Barnett Newman. Flavin had a deep regard for Newman and even reference to Newman in some of his own art pieces. Along with many other artists, Dan Flavin's artwork is a prime example of minimalist art. His work contributed to the minimalist movement and also laid the foundation for the development of more art from this artistic movement. According to the Guggenheim Museum of New York, minimalism refers to paintings or sculptures made with an extreme economy of means and reduced to the essentials of geometric abstractions. This means that the artists use the already made resources that they have to make their artwork. Minimalism often displays hard edges, rigid planes of color, 
sometimes only one color, and are usually based on some sort of grid. Many other artists contributed to the minimalist movement, such as Carl Andre, Donald Judd, Robert Morris, and much more. November 29, 1996, Dan died in Riverhead, New York from diabetic complications. Dan Flavin is recognized internationally and is one of the most iconic minimalist artists. Because Flavin used brightly colored fluorescent lighting tubes, some of his colorful artworks no longer exist. Some places still display what is left of his wonderful artwork. Some of the places that still display his artwork include the Guggenheim Museum of New York, the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth, Richmond Hall in Houston, Texas, and much more. Yeah.